This is my latest 3D printed pendulum clock that I've uh, been, de been designing for the past four or five months or so. And I'm getting ready to post the design onto the internet for everybody to print. When I design a clock, I have a few criteria that I try to keep in mind. The clock must be accurate, functional, and good looking. Uh, this clock has an accuracy of one to two minutes per week. Um, it's very functional. Uh, the runtime is about four and a half days, meaning if I go away for a couple of days, the clock will still be running when I come back, and it'll still be showing the uh, correct time. And I think it's quite nice looking. If I have a clock that I'm spend hours and hours building, I'm going to want to look at it, I'm going to want to see how everything works. Therefore, large exposed gears you know, what, that extend well beyond the frame of the clock. The escapement is up front, on top, very large and very visible. This clock originated as a design that I posted on Thingiverse uh, almost two years ago that is the clock shown on the right. And the new clock is significantly larger and fundamentally it operates pretty much the same, just that the, the gears were made much larger. One of the issues I noticed on my original clock is that it had an escapement similar to a traditional clock design. It looks like the, the one that I'm holding right now. The, the teeth are very sharp and pointed, and this works great on a, a brass clock built using methods uh, that were designed hundreds of years ago. What I found out was it doesn't necessarily print very well. Uh, it can be printed, but the sharp pointed teeth ended up rounded off. The, the, the printer just couldn't print all the way to the tips. And I had to compensate by increasing the size to create an accurate escapement. This is the escapement style on the new clock. And instead of making pointed teeth, I made the teeth uniform in width and with a sloped surface. And the benefit of this is this is very predictable when it's printed. The length and hence when the escapement ticks and talks is much more predictable. And it made it much easier to print uh, different users with different printers are going to have much more consistent results. Another thing you'll notice on this gear is that all of the spokes and even the center hub are all made the same width. I've got a description in the assembly notes that describe and show how this is how it prints. Much much nicer result than just taking an old style design and saying, oh, let's just go print that. Another thing that you notice is the pinions for every gear are integrated, but they don't start forming until they're needed. Sometimes the pinion may be way down at the end of the shaft, in which case the shaft prints, the pinion starts forming, everything gets printed in one piece, that's an advantage of something that you can do for 3D printing. You couldn't manufacture this gear many other ways. Those characteristics of uniform widths of each of the components in the, the gears was carried through on all of the gears. And here's an example of the the winding drum, it's a large diameter drum that the, the cord wraps around and that 
is what the clock uses to run, but the gear was designed specifically to be optimal for 3D printing. This clock design is the second member of a family of clocks. The dial on the clock will just fit on the print bed of a Prusa MK3 or an Ender 3. Uh, these appear to be very popular printers. I've got a Prusa MK3S, so I pretty much designed the clock to be as big as I could print on the, the Prusa. I will be scaling the design in the future, probably three-quarter scale. It'll still be bigger than my original clock. The gears will still extend beyond the frame of the clock and it'll be more impressive than my original design, but might be printed on a Prusa Mini or other similarly sized machines. Another thing that I'm planning to do is at some point convert this design into a wooden gear clock. This is still a work in progress, but I think the design can be ported. These gears are about 1.25x larger than a similar sized gear in the 3D printed clock. Not sure what it's going to do to the runtime. I might end up down around three, maybe four days if I'm lucky, but probably closer to a three day runtime. This is a solid wood gear. I'll be describing the process of how I made this and how it will avoid changes with humidity, uh, hopefully make a functional clock gear that doesn't get distorted you know, during the winter or summer when humidity changes. I've also been designing a family of desk clocks Here's the largest of the desk clocks. It's actually a similar size dial as the, the wall clock behind us, but a different style of clock design. It uses a stepper motor from the commonly used in 3D printers, relatively cheap, and an Arduino Nano, and the beauty of this is you never have to wind it and it achieves an accuracy probably within 30 seconds per month. Uh, it appears to be relatively stable. I have a little bit of work to do before I can release this design, but it will also be a family of clocks, the large style, a three quarter size maybe a 50% size. I'm not sure how many versions of this clock will ultimately be released.